spirit of the living God. Thank you, Abba Father, who give you the glory. Thank you, ancient of days. Holy Spirit, speak my word and speak your word. And take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I want to use this moment to thank every viewer out there, to all our subscribers, our prayer partners, and everyone supporting this program. That God will reward men, will reward you in the name of Jesus. God bless you all. We have seen your prayer. Your prayers have been fed over here. Thank you so much. May God continue to honor everyone in the name of Jesus. You will never fail in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to God. What a refreshing time to be in His presence again. In another word section today. Hallelujah. We'll continue from where we stopped last time on the topic the cause and cure of poverty. The causes and cure of poverty. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Today we're going to be looking at the part two. Causes and cure of poverty. Part two. Glory to God. Quickly, let's look at the scripture because of our time. Uh, Luke chapter 15, verse 11. Luke chapter 15, verse 13 to 15. Luke 15. Verse 13 to 15. <clears throat> Today, I want us to be looking at another cause of poverty. The cause of poverty. Number two cause of poverty is the cause of wasteful living. Remember, we say number one cause of poverty is the power of darkness. <clears throat> that is number one cause of poverty. Number one, the cause. Of poverty number one the power of darkness and today we are looking at number two cause of poverty the cause of wasteful living I repeat another cause of poverty the cause of wasteful living praise God so Luke chapter 15 verse 13 down to 15. Let's start on verse 13. Luke chapter 15, verse 13. Not many days later, <clears throat> the younger son gathered all he had and took his journey into a far country. And there he squandered his property in loose living. Another translation says, in a wasteful living. In a wasteful lifestyle, he squander his property. He squander his property. Property can connote money, lavish lifestyle, partying, going to club here and there, all kinds, humanizing, flexing around, sleeping from one hotel to the other. See, not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took. His journey into a far country. And there he squandered his property in loose living. Luke 15, verse 13. Then verse 14, hear this in that same chapter. And when he had spent everything, a great famine arose in that country. Hey! And he began to be in want. Another translation says, and he began to be in need. Ha! After squandering his property, squandering all his money he has. Now a great famine came. A great famine arose in that country. And he began to be in want. He began to be in need. In verse 15. So he went and joined himself to one of the citizens of that country. Ha! Ah, Karatu Shagaba. Who sent him into his feed to feed swine? When you hear the word swine, 
to feed pig. This is someone who was living in money, who was living in affluence, who was well to do. But because of the wasteful living, after squandering everything, somebody who has handled millions, millions of dollars, millions of pounds, millions of naira. This same person now, the Bible is saying here, yeah, after a great family arose in that country, he began to be in want and in need. Remember, we are looking at the cause of wasteful living. The cause of wasteful living. That is another cause for poverty. Hmm. He say, so he went and joined himself. Look for this. Now he began to feed swine, pig, animal, pig. Some of us will know how dirty a pig is. He was feeding, he has no option again because he's now completely broke. Even to eat one square meal per day, he couldn't. So he began. The, the only option for him right now was to go and walk where to feed swine so they can pay peanut coins. God, that will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of wasteful living in your life, Karashadabakata, dies in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Hear this in John chapter 6, verse 12. John chapter 6, verse 12. Remember, we're looking at the causes and cure of poverty, part 2. John chapter 6, verse 12. Say, so when they had all had enough to eat, this is at the miracle when Jesus turned uh, five loaves of bread and two fishes. He said, when they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over. This is my emphasis now. He said, let nothing be wasted. Ha! Even Jesus told his disciples, let nothing be wasted. Hmm. After everyone was full, he said, gather. That was when everyone was full, he said, gather the pieces that are left over. Let nothing be wasted. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. May God open our eyes and ears of understanding in the name of Jesus. Many of us, many today, are treading upon this path, wasteful living. Everything you see on the road, everything you see, you want. Ah, Karasha Gadaba. Now, hear this the cure for wasteful living is, remember, it's the causes and cure of poverty. The cure for this is be disciplined. The cure is be disciplined. Learn how to control yourself. Be disciplined. Oh, barato shagarana katuzia. Be disciplined. Anywhere you find yourself, learn how to call. The flesh wants to get everything in see. The flesh, learn how to control the flesh. Anything the flesh see, he wants the eye, the spirit of lust. The this me, he sees me, he wants to look. He sees this, be disciplined. Learn to control the flesh. Here, this is what God was saying in First Corinthians chapter six, verse twelve. First Corinthians chapter six, verse twelve. Because of our time quickly, First Corinthians chapter six, verse twelve. I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything. But I will not be mastered by anything. You have the right to do anything, but not everything is beneficial. Even the scripture is telling you and I that not everything is beneficial. Not every invitation you must attend. Not every invitation you must acknowledge. They bring I shall be to you, I shall be 50,000 and at least 100,000 and at least. Learn to say no, you are not buying. Learn to say no next time. Not every invitation, some invitation are open trap. 
Some invitation are open trap just to see you fall into that trap. Some invitation are death warrant. You must be careful. This is what God is saying in His word in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. I have the right to do anything you say, but not everything is beneficial. They invite you to come to be chairman of white table. I don't see it as an opportunity. I want to be chairman. That chairman can be your death warrant. That it can end your life. Learn to say, no, you are busy. I'm not around. Karuta Shagaba. So the cure for wasteful living is be disciplined. We will continue from this in our next episode. Now I pray for someone, oh God, everyone watching this podcast who has been living on a wasteful lifestyle. Money comes to your hand, you don't know how you spend it. Money comes to your hand, you don't know how it goes. You handle million the next week again, you are back to square one. Now I pray for you. May that cause, may that yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Now I pray for you, every spirit of near success syndrome. Ah, Holy Ghost fire. Let the wrath of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, destroy. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. This month of April, you will hear good news on all areas of your life. In the name of Jesus. Anywhere you enter, it shall be good news. That resurrection power will come alive in your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Remain blessed. See you on the next